So right downtown in the heart of Coeur d'Alene, there's one place that I've never been able to walk by, especially my kids, uh, is Fig Pickles. So come check out one of the busiest toy stores in the entire United States. Brett, how Welcome are you? Fig Pickles. Susan. Yes, well, I Susan. Hi. Check it everything. That's fine. <laughs> cool. Hey, I appreciate you guys having us here today. So you two have been in this location for how long? 12 years, right? 12 okay. at this location. And up the street, Previous. we started at 2005. Okay, and I know I came and talked to you earlier and I saw that you have a warehouse here, so this isn't it. This is You it. got a full warehouse here yep. and then another one. In Garwood, off-site yeah. off off Garwood, yep. Yeah. You have that many toys? That's how much product we move in the summer. If we didn't have those warehouses, this would be empty in two weeks. Really? Yeah. So I know you had talked about how many toys you move. You said you have about 50,000 receipts. In, in about 12 weeks. We're tired. In we're tired. 12 weeks? In 12 weeks. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we're tired. We get tired in the summer and we're very tired on Christmas Eve. <laughs> yeah, well, it's stuff like that. I mean, the fact that you have two entrances, one right off of the resort and one right off of Sherman is amazing. It is amazing. We have the best location in town. And, you know, our family works with us. My sons also are part of the business. Yeah, so it's, it's a true awesome. family business. Now, so then Fig Pickles, where where does this come from, the name? Um, it's a unique name. Okay, so. Fig Pickles, um, it's a recipe. Um, and it was in a cookbook my grandmother left me when she died. Okay. And I read cookbooks like most people read magazines. Okay. So I was thumbing through one Sunday morning with coffee and I ran across this recipe called Fig Pickles. And I was like, oh, the recipe sounds horrible, but it'd make a great name for a kid's store. When we decided to do a toy store, Brett was like, well, what are we going to call it? And I was like, oh, I have the name. How, so that's where, so it came from a cookbook? From a cookbook. We got some friends in here checking out everything, but one of the things I've noticed about all your toys is that there's a lot of things that are very, uh, they were around when I was a kid. Yes. Where do you get those from? I mean, there's a light right over there, which I haven't seen right. in like 20 years. Yeah, you can still get them. You can still the get stuff's them getting harder and harder. Okay. But oh. you you source it. It takes time, it takes effort. We, we, we leave no stone unturned yeah. right, shopping yeah. and we, we will go everywhere. I think that's one of the things that I appreciate about it is because I come in here and even my wife and I, we can walk around and we can see stuff that we had when we were kids, which right. my kids don't necessarily appreciate as much as I do, but, but I do, see right. some of those things yeah. and it's awesome. Well, Brett, Susan, I appreciate you guys. Bye.